Hello friends, I am a Ukrainian who does not leave the territory of his country. I would like to tell you what is really happening at the front with the help of animation and the information that the armed forces of Ukraine tell us. Support my work by liking it and also believe in our victory. The Crimean bridge has collapsed. Two Ukrainian surface drones were able to overcome Russia's leaky air defense and cause colossal damage to the Crimean bridge. The Ukrainian command is trying to cut off the routes of reinforcements to Kherson and Zaporizhia regions as much as possible. And the Kremlin has broken the grain deal. The Ukrainian armed forces can break through the front by the end of August without exhausting their strengths. Russian generals are afraid that after that day country will have a national catastrophe. Ukraine is slowly but surely clearing minefields. The first line of defense is busting at the seams, and Russia's distraction maneuver in Kharkiv and Lugansk regions in the form of intensified fighting has failed miserably. Rocket artillery was used in the Bakhmut sector, aerial reconnaissance detected Russians in the forest belt, the enemy was turned to ashes by the salvo fire. The Ukrainian armed forces liberated almost 80 kilometers over the past week. In total, 210.5 kilometers have been liberated since the beginning of the counteroffensive. Over the past week alone, 7 kilometers on the southern flank around Bakhmut and almost 11 kilometers in the south were liberated. In total, almost 180 kilometers in the south of country have been liberated since the counteroffensive. Now let's take a closer look at the situation at the fronts. In the Kupiansk sector, the enemy is storming the villages of Masutivka and Novoselivske, trying to push the Ukrainian armed forces beyond Oskol. In the Liman sector, the enemy tried to push Ukrainian troops out of the area of Serebrensky forest but was unsuccessful. In the south of the country, the Ukrainian defense forces conducted an offensive in the directions of a number of settlements and succeeded in destroying the enemy. Marines destroyed a Russian tank in Staromayorske. Russians are trying to hold on to this village, but Ukrainian artillery is preventing them from doing so. In the Tabria sector, 134 units of enemy equipment, 36 ammunition depots and two fuel and lubricant depots were destroyed between July 10 and 16, and 50 occupants were taken prisoner. In the Russian city of Yeysk, a Su-25 attack aircraft crashed into a pond. According to eyewitnesses, the vessel fell into the Yeysk estuary, a bay into the northeast of the Sea of Azov. Rescue services have gathered on the central beach and helicopters are circling the sky. There have been no official comments so far. It is reported that the Russian pilot unfortunately managed to eject. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you soon.